Yo, need just welcome back to the show. This box is and what did you eat today? Yes, welcome back to another drawing for the six fan art. So the quest of today is give me six characters to make a fan art of. And for this one, it's the fourth out of the series. So we already drew three of the six fan arts. We drew Naruto, Alan Grant from Jurassic Park, and Kuroko Shirai from Toaru Gakaku no Railgun. And today we're gonna draw Gollum or Smeagol. Requested by Martijn on Facebook at the Nijikei's Facebook page. So first what we did was the sketch, then we go to the inking, and then the background, and then we're done. So let's go! <laughs> so I think Lord of the Rings, if you have not seen the movies yet, it's a, a fantasy movie series or set of movies like 1, 2 and 3. Also you have books of them, uh, probably a lot of you know it already. But if you haven't seen it yet, I definitely would recommend it. I think also Lord of the Rings is one of the few that has a good first, second and third movie. I think with movies, I'm talking about movies this time because I only watched the movies. I think with the movies or most movies, mostly the second or third one aren't that good as the first one. But I think with Lord of the Rings, it's a, it's a good complete picture, you know, a complete set of movies that you can watch. Uh, yeah, in, in a go or in a marathon. Some people do that, right? Marathon. Well, the movies are a bit long and, mi and, and even longer are the extended versions. But uh, yeah, for this one, uh, Gollum. Yeah, I, I think Gollum is one of the coolest or memorable characters from Lord of the Rings, you know? Probably a lot of you already know a lot about it or the one who suggested it. Who can also do some great impressions. Impressions of him. I uh, can do a... <laughs> Like that, but uh, not as good as uh, you, some of you there. So, um, yeah. And some of you might also be uh, looking a bit like him, but, uh, you know. <laughs> so, for the six fan arts, drew this on the live stream. And, yeah, here we got the Gollum. I uh, enjoyed drawing this drawing. First with the sketching, then the inking and the background. At first, I uh, wasn't sure if I would add a background, but I eventually did add a background. And I kind of got into this drawing around Halloween time and I, I think Gollum is a, a great match for Halloween now that, that I think about it you know it's a bit he's a bit creepy looking especially in Lord of the Rings of course not sure about the books what do you think about the books versus the movies um, yeah so mostly went uh, with the inking and this, uh, the background I had to figure out what to add in the background, like this tower, you know, the eye. That's one of those uh, memorable settings. But yeah, for this one, with the sketching, I used some reference. So, uh, Gollum looked like again. I don't think it's a great fit for a spooky, creepy character. Since I drew this also for around the Halloween season. I also uh, took a bit of inspiration or checked out a bit of the Junji Ito vibes. You know, Junji, Junji Ito is one of those uh, legendary mangaka that makes horror manga. And I think a lot of people that are into the horror or a bit of that spooky kind of thing. And, and I think a lot of people are inspired also by Junji Ito. If you're into that horror kind of vibe. And I think his manga pages look really great. And with the inking and everything. I've, se I've seen some of his videos of uh, Junji Ito on Mon Ben, I believe. Where another mangaka, I believe from, Mo from Monster. Uh, the creative Monster. Uh, it goes interviewing the creator of uh, J uh, Junji Ito and then you see all his process, how he drews or draws his manga and how he does that creepiness, you know, and it's really cool to see and I, I try to implement a bit of that Junji Ito-ish vibe in here because Gollum is a bit of that horror or a bit spooky or creepy kind of character, right? Even though he originally is a hobbit, I believe, and he's around five, six hundred years old. Yeah, that's kind of old, you know, and um, yeah, so he became from a hobbit, that's like a, yeah, a race in the Lord of the Rings franchise, like you have different types of races, and they are smaller, like also in the movies, like if you see Gandalf, the wizard, and then he goes into the house of, uh, of the hobbits, or, or with uh, Frodo, you see really the scale of... of they really use epic or cool movie techniques to make Gandalf big and then the Hobbit seems smaller, you know? Even though the actors are probably not that small, but uh, you know, with cinematic special effects and visual effects, they can uh, do that. And I think with Gollum, well, Gollum was made a full 3D, right? With a 
blue screen. Even the actor had to act it all out. The actors and the circus who played Gollum. I think uh, it was a lot with the blue screen. Except for the flashback, probably. Because he's really skinny, right? So, yeah, it's probably all... Uh, 3D and blue screen. also with uh, the visual effects to make Gollum the way he was and the voice, you know, he has a great voice for Smeagol or Gollum. Yeah, I think Gollum is one of those characters that's really famous or recognizable, memorable, especially in Lord of the Rings, the franchise. So I'm not sure how you book readers compare it to the movies or what you think, did they adapt it well or not? I believe there's some details here and there that were not in it but i've not read the book so i cannot really compare whether they adapted it right i don't think it was a great experience i think a lot of lord of the rings fans also enjoy the movies with the hobbit i'm not a fan of it you know uh, like sometimes here and there i just put lord of the rings on and draw or whatever because it's uh i think it's one one of those classic movies that you can re-watch from time to time again and yeah i, I thought Gollum was a good suggestion by Martijn on Facebook. So yeah, I hope you like it and how it turned out. And who is your favorite Lord of the Rings characters, ninjas, if you have any? I also like Gandalf, he's a cool character. And also the uh, the creepy dudes that hunt the ring. What's it called again? The Nightwalkers, no. Um... Oh yeah, the Nazgul, the Nazgul, that's it. I uh, like those creepy designs. They also remind me a bit of Dark Souls. You also have some Saurumans or those creepy kind of characters in uh... Dark Souls as well. Dark Souls is a game by the way, in case you didn't know. And next to that I also like uh, Legolas or the elf that also plays in uh, Pirates. No, not that Pirates. <laughs> but uh, yeah man, th I think those are my favorite characters. Uh, Gollum, Gandalf, the Nazgul and uh, the elf. The elf is really cool as well. What's your favorite uh, character from Lord of the Rings ninjas? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's it for this drawing. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we have the fourth added to the six fan arts yes so what do you think so far of the six fan arts ninjas which is your favorite one two three or four let me know in the comments which your favorite is so far the next two are coming this year as well hopefully we can make it or at least that's the plan and also to make these videos for you ninjas as well eventually i will also upload these artworks on the social medias facebook instagram twitter slash ninja case if you want to see them over there and if you want to keep up to date to when drawing these kinds of drawings live you can check out my live streams on twitch.tv slash ninja case and youtube.com slash ninja case for seeing these drawings being made live for this year so far i'm gonna focus on party time the manga and also have to make a ninja case video clip so yeah mostly you'll see me drawing party time the manga right now on the live streams so yeah next to that also sometimes some other random stuff but if you want to join those uh yeah come and say ninja box is dilly yes All right, ninjas, thank you very much for watching once again. Hope you enjoyed it. Press all the thumbs up, comment something down below your favorite Lord of the Rings character or other fantasy characters in the comments below. And yeah, if you like it, share it with someone. Subscribe, ring the bell if you haven't already. Yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for joining once again, Ninja Bucks Easterly, and see you ninjas the next time. Ninja Case. Ah. Ninja Case. Thanks for joining once again, Ninjas Ninja Bucks. It's Dilly, and see you, Ninjas, the next time. Ninja Case out. <laughs>